Hi, I'm Alex DeLuca. Hello, I'm Carl Barnett. Hey, I'm Nick Hardy. I'm the director, co-writer and co-producer of Hymns of Aberice. I am the second AD um, slash second unit director on Hymns of Aberice. I'm producer and director of photography on Hymns of Aberice. Since the beginning, this project has been all about collaboration from George and I working out the initial stories and photos that became books to be sold for mental health charities, to joining forces with Faceless Ventures to create an art exhibition to raise even more money. I first got involved in this via Nick Hardy, the producer, um, who is a fellow member of Team Reflector, uh, which is our, uh, produc our sort of small production company, and then teaming up with Alex DeLuca at Clouded Side Pictures to create a proposed series of films or episodes. So frankly, it's going to be pretty epic. If we do get the commission for the TV series, it's, it's hopefully going to be on streaming, and you're going to love it. You really are. We, we cross different time periods and uh, you know modern things and 17th century at first, but more, more on that later. Um, but we need your help to be able to uh, complete uh, the scenes that we have left. It's a project that I really strongly believe in. I'm a PTSD sufferer myself um, with a query of light, dim light dementia and uh, this is casted and crewed by people with similar symptoms, with uh, mental health issues or they, they care for someone directly who, who has a mental health issue. And the film itself and the TV series um, does have a lot of metaphors around dealing with those kind of things. I, I think it's certainly uh, the first project that I've seen for a while that, that is so open about these things. I'd say we're about um, just over halfway through the, uh, the film in general. Um, we've got quite a few scenes left to do. Some big, some small. Had a lot of of help and assistance and love from from the various communities in and around Sheffield and Nottingham and Doncaster and places like that. Uh, lots of local small businesses and things who believe in our project has helped helped us. And now we're giving you the opportunity to join the team. Whatever you can give us will help uh, us to bring those scenes to life. Uh, what, however much it is, it doesn't matter. You know, the cost of a cup of coffee or you know, however much you can afford to put into the uh, series will certainly help us be able to bring something very, very special to your screens. Now it's down to you how much you would like to donate to the project. As you can see on the page, there are various different perks from having your name in the credits to actually being in the film. Please do um, check us out, have a look at the various vlogs. I, I'm doing BTS vlogs during the filming. Um, we're doing really well so far. Just know that no matter how much you wish to contribute, it all helps in the great purpose of furthering mental health awareness and helping those who need help. And for that, you have all our thanks. Right, action. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm one of the producers of Hymns of Aberice. That's it. <laughs> 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 Actually, while we're here, we could do something for the Indiegogo as well. Well, that's some thinking. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> and action. <laughs> <laughs> and show the setup for the kill room. This is where some of your money's managed to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, we need more. I call myself Moobit or Carl, I can't remember now. Why am I in the credits? Carl, Anna, yeah, okay, fine. I want salsa do as well. That's it. This, this came today. I have ways of making you talk. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's like I thought I was being attacked by a Dalek or something. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows me as Moobit though. <laughs> well, you, say, yeah. you can say that. You, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Say Moobit, whatever you like. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't want to come across as one of those knobheads. <laughs> Put your at ease. This is this is what an interviewer does. They put them at ease, and then they, then you, you then you bring up the fact that I'm trying to put you at ease, and we have to start again. It's really do I seem uneasy? It's really frustrating. You are, of course, you're easy. It's me. Now, do I seem uneasy? No, you just seem like Nick. Yeah. It's hard to tell. It's like you, I would play poker against you. I mean, look at look at it. <laughs> I'm terrible at poker. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm actually really good. Well, ask ask Claire; she'll tell you. Yeah, I'm not playing bug against you then either. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I can't remember off the fecking cards. So, uh... 
Yeah, you're in my head. Just if I actually come back a touch. Yeah, I've got a massive head. <laughs> just so that you can get your head in. <laughs> what? Right. Hello, Nicholas. I'm out here now. I'm going back to my trailer. We'll do it live. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Closer. It's up to you how much you want to donate. Every little helps. God damn it. That's got to go in. It takes! That's dead. That's got to go in. That's got to go in. It helps. That's got to go in.